Welcome back everybody, my name is Andrew and this is Kite Army. So I have two of the most anticipated battery powered lawnmowers right here. These are both brand new for 2021 and guess what guys, both these mowers are equipped with two blades. So in today's video, we've got two mowers, both have dual blades, but we're only gonna have one winner. All right guys, so the first contender in today's video is this brand new Ryobi 21 inch self-propelled HP cross-cut lawnmower. This lawnmower is powered by a brushless motor in here which should give it plenty of power and it comes equipped with two 40 volt batteries. These are both six amp hour batteries. You can see they have a power meter on them and these batteries should power this lawnmower for 70 minutes according to Ryobi. To adjust the height of the Ryobi deck is really simple. You just pull this handle and you can go from one and a half inches all the way up to four inches. So the Ryobi mower is capable of functioning in three different ways. First off, it can mulch, it can side discharge, and of course, it can bag. So the last feature of the Ryobi mower we need to talk about is the warranty. Hopefully this will never come into play, but if it does, this is the deal. Basically you have a five year warranty on the mower and a three year warranty on the batteries. All right guys, so the next contender we're gonna be checking out today is the brand new Ego 21 inch self-propelled Select Cut XP lawnmower. This mower has been upgraded for this year. They've upgraded the brushless motor and made a larger battery. Now the battery they use in this mower is huge. This is a 56 volt 10 amp hour battery. There's the fuel gauge and this battery should power this mower for up to 75 minutes. So the Eco mower has a single handle to raise the deck from one and a half inches all the way up to four inches. Eco bag. So the Eco mower can be operated in three ways. First off, there's side discharge, there's mulching, and of course, bagging. So for those guys out there who only have one blade on their lawnmower, this section is going to make you feel really bad because the Eco Select Cut XP actually includes four blades. So the blades are this. First off, you get a mulching blade that's installed. Secondly, you get a high lift blade. This is great for bagging, picking up debris off your lawn like grass clippings or leaves. And lastly, you get an extended runtime, which does exactly that. It gives you the longest runtime on this mower. So the warranty for the Ego Select Cut XP mower is a little different than the Ryobi's. The mower, just like the Ryobi, is five years, but they have real confidence in their battery and they're giving you a five-year warranty on this battery. All right, guys, so the next part is testing. We're gonna start with the nice clean stuff and then we're gonna go to the jungle. And you know what that means, nasty, thick grass. Here we go. All right guys, here we are on location and somehow it feels like all roads at Kite Army always end up in really large, grassy, overgrown fields. Well, the reason why we're here today is because we care about one thing and that is power. We wanna see what these mowers are capable of and there's only one way to test it and here's how we do it. 
So through all the years of doing these tests, I've discovered one truth, and that is keeping it simple makes the most sense, and that's exactly what we're gonna do here today. I've got both mowers. I've got the batteries topped off on each mower. I've got the blade heights set to the exact same height, and all we're gonna do is push these mowers through this mower killing grass. Check this stuff out. This stuff is gonna kill our mower, and one of these is gonna die. Ryobi Ego, check it out guys. All right guys, so I just completed my first test here. You can see on this side, this cut is the Ego cut, and on this side over here, the right side, you can't see much yet. It's because the Ryobi died. If I get a little closer to mowers, you're gonna see they started both okay. The Ryobi quit out in this tough grass to cut, but the Ego Select Cut XP with that new powerful mower, it made mince meat of this grass. Pretty cool. All right, it looks like the Ryobi won't start. Let's see what's going on in here. And we might have an overheating battery blinking. It feels warm. The other side looks okay. Let's check out the Ego. It is hot out here today, but that's what I wanna see. All right, guys, this is the test you've been waiting for. I'm just gonna run as fast as I can through the thickest grass I can find. Here we go. Good news is that didn't tire me out too much. Bad news is I didn't get too far. All right, guys, it's time for the Ego at the super stress test. Running as fast as I can, seeing how far we get. Here we go. So if there's any debate about which one of these mowers is more powerful, I think today's test clearly answered that question. Throughout the test, the Ryobi was overheating. I have to give it time to the rest. The Ego just kept on chugging along, no problem. So whatever Ego did with the Select Cut XP upgrading that motor and battery, this thing is a grass killing machine. All right, guys, I'm back home and it's time for the wrap up. So here's the deal. In today's wrap up, I want to break things down into categories. The first category we're going to talk about is batteries. So the Ego mower comes with one single 56 volt 10 amp hour battery totaling 560 watt hours. The Ryobi comes with two 40 volt 6 amp hour batteries totaling 432 watt hours. So the Ego battery is definitely a larger battery. Now the other interesting thing is the Ego comes with a charger that charges that battery in one hour, whereas the Ryobi takes two hours to charge each battery and you kind of got to babysit them. The next thing we want to talk about is warranty. So the Ego comes with a five-year warranty on the mower and a five-year warranty on the battery. The Ryobi is a five-year on the mower, a three-year on the battery. So we need to speak about self-propelled. Now, one of the things I noticed is the self-propelled on the Ryobi does not work unless the motor blade is spinning, which is kind of interesting. And I know it sounds picky, but sometimes depending on where you are, it's nice to just drive that mower home without having to run that mower blade. So something to think about. Now build quality, another thing is the Ryobi actually had parts falling off it when I opened up the box. This was disappointing, so I'd have to say the Ryobi is kind of a little short in that area. Now as far as power is concerned, you saw the Ego definitely bumped up the Select Cut mower this year with the XP. That XP stands for extra power, and it is powerful. In fact, I think it's more powerful than most gas mowers. Now size, when you compact them down, obviously the Ego is a little smaller than the Ryobi, and it feels a little lighter. Now the one other thing that I'd like to talk about is the Ryobi while I was out in the field. Now this is like hardcore 
testing, but actually those batteries were overheating, which makes me worry they may overheat in other conditions. So there's only one thing that I like more about the Ryobi than I do the Ego, and that is the cost. So the Ryobi costs $600 and the Ego costs $750. But considering all the things we talked about, the fast charger with the Ego, the extra blades with the Ego, the extra power in the Ego, I really think that difference in cost almost goes away. What I'm saying for me is the Ego's a better value, more bang for your buck. Hopefully that video satisfied your mowing cravings. Now it's time for dessert. I'll see you right over there. String trimmer time. Let's go.